Hey guys, this is part three of uh, installing uh, Mac OS X 10.4 on my Power Mac G4. I was cut off my last video because I ran out of storage in my iPod. It's at 8 gigs, so it runs up pretty fast. And so you probably got you guys are wondering what is he, what was that last word he said? I can't understand it. So I was on create your account. I'm just finishing creating my account. Every person who uses the computer would have a user account with their own settings and a place to keep their documents secure. Set up your user account now. You can add accounts for others later. My name is Jesse Paleo. Short name will be this. This will be used as a name for your home folder and cannot be changed. So I'm gonna put Power Mac. Power Max. I mean Mac, not Max. Okay, my password is already set, and we will continue this. Power Mac. That's what I'm gonna leave it like. Make sure I spell it right because you can't really change that. And my iPod's only been running out of charge. Let's make this quick. I won't be very long on this one. Let's hope I don't run out of storage on this one either. Talking with Apple. My computer is now talking with Apple. Sorry for that. My iPod can open a lot. Okay, so look at my time zone. Of course, Apple always says it to Cupertino. Um, mostly anything. Let me, ch let me move it over here to Georgia. Atlanta, USA. Perfect. And now today's date is 12-21-2012. So yeah, at the end of the day, at the end of the world, I'm still alive here. And it is almost 5 o'clock. So, um, so everything looks in order, and we will continue this. I believe it's... Don't forget to register. Click done to end the setup process and begin using your computer. Just send this registration later. Double click the send registration file in your home folder if you want to register. See the warranty if you have does not require to register this product. Okay. So enjoy... And then the last part says enjoy your Apple computer. Will you see all the lines? I'm going to follow it. Enjoy your Apple computer. Enjoy your Apple computer. Alright, so done. Blue screen. Everything called. The installation went perfect on here. Like I said, it was fast. Pretty easy. I told you on the second in part two that which discs were the fastest and everything. So there we have everything. Let's see, send registration. I'm gonna send it right now, and you can see the setup thing. So there's my registration info, and I will not let you all see this, but I will send it. Let's see, just verify again. Okay. And then home, other, so now now you're ready to connect. Click continue to send your registration to Apple and set up your computer. Continue. Connecting. This may take a moment. You can probably see that without even looking, passing the lines. I'm trying to get rid of the lines. Let's see. Your registration could not be sent. The connection to Apple is busy or the computer cannot connect to the internet. Quit. Check your internet connection. Try again. I'm connected to the internet. It says right here. I'm connected to Belkin 54G. And if I can't send it now, it's probably set it later. <laughs> Apple only really hasn't changed that little thing that goes around. You can see that on almost anything. Okay, and, and uh, here we have what it says. New software is available for your computer, and I will be updating it to 10.4.11, which is the most latest, latest this can go up to unless you upgrade the computer itself. So then I have Java 1.3.1 and 1.4.8. There's a lot of stuff to update on here. So I will be doing that. It's just waiting for this to tell me if I'm connected or not. So it doesn't tell me about iTunes on here, but it does say update it later on. But this is just automatically turned on. And let's see about this Mac real quick. 10.4 on here, 46, 466 megahertz PowerPC G3. So this is not even close to running up to 10.5. 768 megabytes SD RAM startup disk Macintosh HD. It's really taking a long time. Uh, as you can see, my two hard drives. Let me show you the storage on a Macintosh HD. I have 32.26 gigabytes available. That's after the installation. And United, there is. I have Mac OS X running on here, so 11.47 gigabytes available after the installation. Let's close that. Connecting. Still connecting. So, yeah, this will take a while. Uh, but I guess this will conclude the video. The uh, installing Mac OS X 10.4. I'm not going to say 0.11 because you haven't even seen that. 10.4 on my Power Mac G4. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry for all the cutoffs that happened before. I'm gonna on each video. I'm gonna show you the next part of my video. So next parts on the video, so you will not get lost and you may, you will make make sure you catch every single uh, second without me getting cut off or anything by my iPod making me get cut off early. So show your support by uh, commenting, rating, and subscribing. Really helps me a lot. Make better videos. Subscribing especially at rate them. If you're a hater, 
even even though you still rate it, just put your negative comment, whatever you want to do. It really helps me make a lot better videos. And uh, yeah, so I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. This is Apple Nerd One Two Three, and see you guys.